Hello beautiful souls, so the divine. Masculine here ironically sees a divine. Feminine as being very unique, being very different, being someone highly worth pursuing and investing their time. And I literally keep hearing connecting with. You divine feminine feels to this person. Like the opportunity of a lifetime and yet they're in this strange kind of limbo energy like are they going to seize the opportunity or are they going to let it pass them by now even as I said that I could sense that this masculine knows if they do pass up this opportunity they're going to be in deep regret I am already picking that up right away but let's turn to the traditional tarot and see what comes up now do keep in mind I channel many different people situations and messages throughout these readings, so always only take what connects with you personally if you would like me to. Channel more specifically for you and your situation I also recommend. Subscribing to the channel and liking the video as this does allow me to pick up more easily on your energy okay so. What is going on with this very strange, almost player-like masculine energy? But that word player doesn't really describe the full picture of their energy because deep down they have very genuine feelings I almost feel like. Something may have happened with this person's mother or in their family with their father that caused them to not want to get close to anyone. This may have been someone who even was made fun of in school or something like that they have this energy of overcompensation, like they're overcompensating for something here, because they're afraid of losing control of themselves emotionally with the cane. Of wands upright, this is someone who's so independent it's almost to a fault. Like they are so hyper-independent that they actually sometimes have a difficult time forging meaningful connections with other people around them, but again this may all be a coping mechanism. Even that hyper-independence in this masculine may be a coping mechanism because of an inner child wound from their childhood where they felt misunderstood, they felt abandoned or rejected in some sense something about. You as well has triggered that wound because they value you so highly that they are especially afraid of that perceived potential rejection in this particular case which I know is so ironic. There is that very strange energy, dynamic coming up of them valuing you and your energy so highly that they're afraid to approach you because they're afraid of the perceived possible. Rejection of getting too close to you or caring too much, but I'm hearing them say at one level, it's already too late because even if they try to deny it to themselves, they already are in deep emotionally with you. Now the number 13 may be significant to someone. We also have the death card speaking to a spiritual transformation. This person is very much at a breaking point in their life. Now this could be a rock bottom for them personally, professionally. Hello beautiful souls. Whatever this was it was emotionally affecting you more than you may have consciously realized. You may have had days where you couldn't get out of bed or where you felt extremely low emotionally and you may not have even put together that this was actually connected to that particular experience. But I'm getting that for whoever I'm speaking to these things really were connected. It's almost like this. Situation took you on a roller coaster of emotions for a while with really unpredictable highs and lows. But now you're coming into balance again. Going back to that world card, you're coming into wholeness within yourself. Particularly after a situation that may have left you feeling very broken. This is opening you up to experiencing more happiness than you would have thought possible. I'm hearing even just a year or a few years ago, this is a happiness that you have really been wanting for a long time and that you really deserve. I feel a very happy era coming into your life as a result of this healing that's taken place. What is this happiness era coming in? And right as I said that we have the six of wands upright. Now this is a powerful success, some kind of victory, a triumph I have to say as well. 
This car can connect with being in this spotlight having fame of some kind. Wow. Very powerful cards at the bottom of the deck. It's almost like these cards coming out. Here are representing the powerful. Benefits coming as a result of this situation that you've healed from that. You may have never seen coming because we have the star. We also have the four of wands here. So what I'm giving is that you are going to be very successful or already are experiencing a great deal of success. Doing something that is deeply connected to creativity or spirituality or a combination of these things. This also could be some form of healing. So for some of you listening, you might be in the medical profession, you might be into alternative healing, holistic health. You may be someone who is sharing something motivational, inspirational, spiritual or creative online or in public. And I'm seeing that you are going to begin to see a picking up of success in these areas if that hasn't happened already and I'm hearing you're turning heads like you are attracting attention with. However, you are using these gifts of creativity of healing of spirituality, whatever this is for you. And it's almost like this puts you on an emotional high from having such success or receiving such reward in a sense. Whether that's people beginning to notice and connect with you or whether that's some material thing for you. This is so fulfilling to you not just materially but also at a soul level. For whoever I'm speaking to hear this really feels like connecting your heart with your intuition and then channeling it into something that's highly material and visible and also brings with it a lot of success from divine muscular type yes if you believe.